Here at Junkyard Haunts, we turn trash into haunted house decorations. Uh, today, we're going to make one of my uh, favorite types of things to make, and that's actually potions. One of the reasons I really like making potions is it's probably the simplest materials to gather and it looking like the most professional when it's finished. For our potion, our base is going to be an old pill bottle, and that's why I like this, is because an old pill bottle will look great as long as we add a few more details to it. I happen to have already had some old Halloween decorations of these eyeballs, so I just thought I would use them. I don't think they look too good, so I thought we would uh, build them up and make them look even better. First, you want to glue them together, make sure they fit in that bottle, and then, like all eyes, when they aren't in your body, they have the, those little... Um, I don't know what they're called, but the the thing coming out of the back of their eyes. And I figured that would be what we would add to it to add much more detail to make it look creepier and, and even cooler. So as our base for those backs, we're going to wrap up some tin foil in uh, a fairly small string. We need to make sure it can still fit inside of our, our potion bottle. And then we're going to cover it up with hot glue so that no tin foil shows through. We want to paint this. And, and tin foil does not allow paint to stick to it. But also on top of that, the hot glue will actually add the bumps and the, the details for you by not being perfectly smooth all the way across or, or being too crinkly like the tin foil would be. Instead, it's, it's larger clumps and that will make it look more realistic. At Junkyard Haunts, I use trash to build these decorations and so I actually have some old paint. This is old red paint that was very, very clumpy and it, you know what? It made it even better. Like I'm saying, trash can really make these decorations look even better. Because it was so old and clumpy, the colors, there was like three reds with inside this one red bottle and the colors didn't mix very well so I was just spreading it around and I'm like, this looks pretty good. I added black to make it darker, which which definitely helped, and added more colors into it. The hot glue accepts paint really well, so I actually just put on one coat, but it was a thick coat. I made sure every little piece is covered. Since the eyes don't look super great, I just added a little bit more paint around the whites of the eyes to, add, to make it look a little more bloodshot. But in the end, I basically did nothing more to these eyes. If you don't have these basic eyes, feel free to grab some golf balls and try painting an eyeball or printing off a picture of an eyeball and gluing it onto ping pong balls. For the lid, I figured we'd make another eyeball, but this time much more detailed. For the inside pill bottle, each eye only has one little string coming out of the back of it, when normally each eye actually has two coming out, but now I have much more room because uh, it doesn't have to fit inside the eyeball so I thought I'd make it much bigger but in the end it works the exact same way I use tin foil for the base and I just make two off branches with tin foil and then with my hot glue I glue it all both together and to add the texture that we want for our eyes you notice my hot glue gun is is old and not great so I actually have to push the stick down either with my thumb or other hand it kind of makes it difficult when you're trying to to hold the eye off the ground to, to get the glue on but in the end it works out and I'm able to use this uh, maybe one day I'll be able to uh, get a real hot glue gun again I use the same old paint to paint this part since old paint isn't something you can just go out and buy I suggest mi mixing a few different colors of red paint together but very loosely so that they don't become a solid color afterwards and then add black and even if you don't have a few different reds just the black and the red but mix them very softly so that they aren't completely mixed together making one color so it has a few colors with inside that one mixture of paint the white of the the lid is is too bright too shiny so i just took that same paint and covered the lid uh, in the end, we're going to cover it up even more, but I just didn't want the white to shine through at all. It's uh, really fun to try to paint something with no resistance and just pushes the little thing around. And now we just shove it in there. Hopefully it fits. Burlap is always a, a good material to make your props look more authentic. 
And so we're just going to cover up this little bit more. Like I was saying, I painted underneath. I probably didn't need to because we can't really see underneath through this, this burlap, but burlap does have little holes in it. So I was just being cautious. After I put it on, I, I wanted to age the burlap a little bit more. So I just took some brown paint, just a little bit as you see. When you paint the burlap, you only want to paint it here and there in certain parts. Don't cover the whole thing or else it will still look brand new, just darker color. To age it, you'll want to have it sporadic parts painted throughout going into this uh, again i don't ever really have plans for these things so i thought the base looked a little weak and funny just on its own as the the pill bottle you can see that plastic so i wanted to cover it up and i figured i'd throw some more burlap and, and make it look really raggedy the more details you put into it the better it will look so don't be afraid to come back later if you're not liking it and just add more. Just like my base, I thought it needed some more detail. And even after I put the burlap on, I was like, this needs more detail. So let's add this, this rope around it. If you cut your string a little short like I did, just cut more and glue it on. Don't worry about trying to rip it off, making it one complete string. It's okay if it has a little cuts throughout it. The string I had, I decided to rip some pieces up and show some, some fibers inside the, the pill bottle just to add a little bit more detail and wrap the top again with some more of this string. Be careful when you use a hot glue gun. It's the reason they call it hot. I think I burnt my fingers a few times just trying to push those extra loose strands down and keep it down. So just remember, be careful when doing this. So I've made a few creations on Junkyard Haunts and so far this might be my favorite, but I suck at making up names. So comment below, tell me what I should name this other than Potion of Eyes. I know that's good, but, but you guys can do better. I know you can. And if I like it, I will go ahead and change the name of my video. So at the end I like to go over things that I could have done better so that yours can look even more fantastic than that. I think the eye, the iris, I think the iris here, just, it's just a few circles. The, the toy eyeball that I got is not very good, not very detailed. So I think I would have actually printed off some eyeballs and glued them on there. Cause I, there's no way I can paint that detail of an eye, but that would have made the eye look way more realistic and even better. If you have some ideas for future potions you'd like to see, comment below and I will work on those. My goal is to combine a whole bunch of awesome potions together into a secret project. So make sure you subscribe so you can see them all together in an epic secret project. If you, li if you like this, go ahead and hit a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, go ahead and hit a thumbs up, obviously.